What's up, Bulls fans? Welcome back. The Chicago Bulls lose to the Orlando Magic 114 to 108. And this was a game where they just did not play well down the stretch, making mistakes and not seeing the type of game we want to see as Bulls fans. There also was some issues with the ref calls. Maybe the Bulls should have got some more free throws, but that is not an excuse. What really happened was Franz Wagner really stepped up to take control as well as Jalen Suggs. And with a terrible shooting night from Kobe White, we just didn't have it in us. But uh, hey, if you're looking at it at AK's point of view, at least we were competitive. We'll talk about all that after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. But let's get into it. The way this game went is the Chicago Bulls started out, honestly, not the best. And that's become an issue. It's becoming the narrative when you look at how the Bulls play. They start games with less energy than they should, and they play down to the competition that they're playing. And what happens is they tend to go down 10 to 15 points and then spend the entire first half trying to fight their way back somehow. And this is an issue, okay? You have to fix this because the Bulls in the second half, after they make changes, show that they can be a great team defensively. I want to see that same energy when you're down 10 to 20. I want to see it at the beginning of the game so you can go up 10 to 20 right the game started out with the Bulls struggling trying to keep themselves in this game the Orlando Magic was keeping them at bay and as usual from what we've seen the last few games it really changed in halftime the Bulls started to make changes and really fight back to get it closer and closer taking the league at one point but then the Magic got on a roll and the Bulls did not know what to do they completely shut down when that that mo Sorry, wow, I couldn't even speak. They completely shut down when that momentum changed. And when you saw what happened with that, is the Bulls started to get that same aura that we hate to see as Bulls fans where it's, well, I guess it's happening again. We are going to lose this game once again. And when you see them start to play like that, it's very scary because it feels like they're giving up around the middle of the third or the beginning of the fourth, right? There's there seems to be a light that goes out with this team when they truly believe they can't come back. And you can see it on the court. You can see it as a fan, right? A big part for the Magic, though, in this game, and one of the reasons they really won, Franz Wagner, 13, 36 points, three rebounds, five assists. He did his thing. He played the game the way you're supposed to play it. You also got Cole Anthony off the bench, 14 points, 11 rebounds. And in reality, he made some really big shots for the Magic at the end of this game. One of the real big reasons the Bulls couldn't keep momentum. When they started to get momentum, Cole Anthony would come in and make a shot to stop it. So that's something you got to look out for. You also had Jalen Suggs, 13 points, and... Pablo Benchiro, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, almost had a triple-double. He played well as well. He was a really big mismatch when it came down to getting guards on him like Kobe or Caruso. So the Magic did the thing they were supposed to do. They came out. They always come out and play the Bulls with a purpose. It's becoming like their own little rivalry, right? I don't know if we would call it a rivalry as a NBA, right? But the Magic clearly look at the Bulls. As a rivalry and as a team, they need to step up and beat each and every time. So when you look at the Bulls side of this, right, we also didn't have a terrible game, but we didn't have the best game. Kobe White shooting terrible this game. 14 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. He was 5 for 21 from the field, 2 for 11 from the 3-point line, and just could not get his shot going. And part of that was the Magic played him well. They did not let him have air. They were... Bullying him all the way up to court, making it hard for him, making it hard off of pick and rolls, not giving him air to shoot. And he was having trouble trying to find his shot. They also were closing out really well and smothering him when he would drive to the paint. But part of that also was there are a few times where I think Kobe should have been fouled, right? He should have had a, a free throw that he didn't get. And sometimes we see that times to get Kobe going. This time, he didn't get those calls. He didn't get going. And the entire team showed that they were kind of down because of that. Right, Vooch, 26 points, 17 rebounds. He had a good game. Once again, Vooch is doing his thing. He's scoring 20 points a game. I think this is his fifth game in a row with 20 plus. The issue I'm seeing with Vooch is Vooch is not using his strength enough. Right? I love that he wants to get the team involved. 
but you cannot keep passing out when you have a point guard on you, right? If you have a shooting guard on you, back them down. Stop getting the ball in the post. Stop doing one to two dribble back downs. And then when you have a point guard going, well, I'll pass it out to someone else. No, attack. This is your time to get the points. If you want to keep asking for the ball in the post, I need you to do something when you get it with a mismatch. Attack. You're starting to get better at it. I need you to do it more. Alec Caruso, 9 points, 8 rebounds. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, 28 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. DeMar's actually one of the reasons we kind of were starting to keep it up in the fourth. But at the end of this game, he took a really bad shot to end this regular you know, quarter. I don't know why he took the final shot the way he did. It seemed like he had time to drive, but he decided to pull up for a deep three-point shot, which just isn't his shot. It seemed like he settled. Um, but throughout this game, I don't know if it's just fatigue. It seemed like DeMar was having a little bit of trouble with his jump shot towards the fourth. I think he shot three straight shots that were short. In overtime, he went up for a dunk and missed the dunk, even though it wasn't a lot of pressure on him. It just it was a fitting way for the Bulls to lose this game, right? They had a chance the entire time. They were close at the end of regulation. They were in close at the end of OT, and they just couldn't pull it out. They didn't have the closer with Kobe having a terrible game and the margins being off. Alex Caruso was good. We went over his points, but uh, seems like he was fouled a little bit also. The refs had a lot of issues in this game from both teams. I'm not going to call it either way. I think the Bulls had some fouls that should have been called. I think the Magic also had some fouls that should have been called. It was very back and forth on if they were going to let him play or if they were going to call Tiki Tack fouls. You don't really know what was going to happen, but that's just something that you got to live with with the NBA. Torrey Craig, three points, one rebound. Andre Drummond, four points, five rebounds. He was in a lot, and I mean a lot of foul trouble, and that's something that as a Bulls fan, you start to see why you can't play him and Vooch consistently all the time because Andre has an issue with that. He'll play great, and then the next game he'll come out and get four fouls in the first half, and now you're stuck. So you got to start looking at when to play him and picking the right times to use that double big lineup. Dale and Terry, five points, one rebound, two assists, and one poster dunk. He got his poster dunk. We finally saw Dalen do something big he had a nice three to start this game he also had a poster dunk go Dalen shout out to you for having a great game and last I saved him for last I want to talk about Ayo DeSumo 19 points two rebounds two assists the Chicago kid seven for 12 five for eight from the three-point line Ayo hits a record for himself as far as how many threes he's hit in the game and he looked locked in from three and that's what I like to see I love seeing Ayo step up and be confident Right. As a Chicago dude, I love seeing Chicago dudes do work and play well. He had a good game, but the Bulls just couldn't pull it out. And if honestly, this takes me back to the whole competitive thing I talked about in my last video. If AK thinks this is competitive and this is all we're looking for is we have a shot every game to maybe win. Even if it's going to be close, it's going to be every single game. It's going to come down to the fourth quarter. Then, hey, that's where we're at, I guess. Right. But for me, that's not competitive. That's being okay, right? I want competitive to be we beat teams that we should beat and we have close games with really good teams. If that's what happens, great. But when you constantly keep having almost all of your games come down to the fourth quarter almost every single time, that is an issue. It just is. Now, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. What I want to ask for you today, who do you think had the worst game today, Kobe White or Andre Drummond? Put it down below. Who had the worst game, Kobe White or Andre Drummond? Who was the worst player for the Bulls? And with that, I hope you guys have a great time. I hope you are enjoying the videos. Once again, we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. So if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Join the family early so you know you are one of the originals. Because in the future, remember, they always say, were you with shooting with me in the gym? This is in the gym right now. We're practicing. We're getting those shots up. We're becoming an all-star. So join early. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a great night. Peace.